Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Jensen LED RV TV. Uh, this does include a DVD player in it. This is a lightweight and durable high definition television that's going to be great for your RVs or maybe even your boat. It does have a 19 inch 720p screen so it's going to give you that high definition quality but it's not very big so you are going to uh, probably use this in smaller spaces where you're going to be only about two feet to four feet away from the screen so uh, maybe in the uh, bedroom of your RV or boat uh, somewhere where you're not going to be very far away so that you can get the optimal uh, viewing distance from it. As far as our overall measurements go make sure that this is going to fit in your space. It is right about uh, seven and seven sixteenths of an inch wide or uh, just under seven and a half inches wide. Our height for just the TV itself, we're looking at right at 11 inches tall. If we include the feet here, it's gonna take us up to right about 12 and seven sixteenths or just under uh, 12 and a half inches with the base included. Our width, it's pretty, uh, pretty thin as you can see there. So we're only looking about, I'm going to call it an inch and three quarters of an inch deep. And if we include our base, that's going to um, add a lot there. So looking at probably about six and five eighths of an inch for the base. So depending on how you want to mount it, uh, keep those measurements in mind. Uh, this is going to be a space saving option. So not only is it a smaller screen, uh, but it also has the DVD player and CD player built into the side here. So it's going to eliminate the need for a separate DVD or CD player. Uh, so you're going to cut down on your space there. The controls for the television are at the top of the screen here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see those a little better. So you can see we've got our open, our play, our source, menu, our channels, volume, and our power button there at the top so we can control it. Uh, we are going to get a remote that I'll go over in a few minutes. And then here on the sides, we've got several different inputs. So we've got our SPDIF output for our digital audio over here. We've got our audio visual, uh, red, yellow, and white inputs there, and then our audio out left and right there. And then on the back, of the TV. We've got several other inputs. So here is going to be our DC in, our power supply input. And then we move over, we've got a USB and an HDMI, as well as our VGA and PC audio so that we can plug in a computer if we're wanting to use this as a, a monitor or to use our computer to uh, play videos or what have you. Then our component video over here is going to be for your analog electronics. And we also have our uh, antenna for our satellite coming in. And then right here is our headphone jack. So if we wanted uh, to plug headphones or external speakers in that way, we can do that as well. Our HD TV tuner inside is going to locate and bring in the digital television channels uh, from your satellite so that you can uh, view the local HD channels that are being broadcast around you. Uh, they do include several adapters. So we've got our AC to DC adapter here. So this will plug into your wall of your RV and uh, use that AC current that's coming in. We'll plug into the back. Or you also have the option to plug into your cigarette lighter and go directly from DC to your screen so it will work on either option to give you a lot of adjustability and versatility there. The speakers are downward facing speakers so um, they are going to project the sound clearly. Now keep in mind with your smaller screens like this the speaker and sound is uh, typically the Achilles heel so you get a small screen you're going to have small speakers so these are probably not going to blow you away uh, with their volume level. You may be interested in hooking up an external speaker set if uh, you have trouble hearing over your air conditioning system or something like that. But you do have that headphone jack and the 
um, audio out ports on the side here so that you could hook up those external speakers if you wanted to. The remote that I mentioned earlier is going to fully control your TV from up to 30 feet away. You've got your TV button here and your DVD player here, so uh, you will select whichever one you're wanting to control, and it will give you the options to control it. They do include a uh, RCA cable for you as well, so if you're wanting to hook up a, a different device, you could do that on the back. Now, this is going to be a very durable option for you. It's designed to work in your RV, so it's uh, going to be good for the bouncing around that you typically get when you're in an RV. It's got a hard plastic outer shell, and the circuit board is coated with a polymeric uh, conf, uh, coating to protect the circuit board uh, from dust, moisture, and extreme temperatures. Uh, so it's going to do a good job, hold up well for you. You do have two different options for displaying this. So you've got the feet that I have installed already for you here. Those just in install with screws on the bottom. Uh, so you can just have it sitting on your table or um, TV stand, what have you, or you can mount it to the wall. Uh, the wall mount is not included, but you will just undo these screws here and that will allow you to mount to your Visa um, mounting plate. Now these are right about three inches from side to side, and again, three inches from top screw to the bottom screw. So it's about 75 millimeters and 75 millimeters. So you wanna make sure that your uh, Visa mounting plate has that 75 millimeter by 75 millimeter option. Make sure that it will work for you. Uh, and it is very lightweight. It's only about seven pounds. So you're not gonna need a very big bracket whatsoever to get it attached to the wall. Uh, so that, again, could be a space saver for you in the limited space that we have in the RV. This does come with a one-year warranty. So if you were to have any problems with it, uh, you could give us a call and we'd help you out with that. Uh, but I really don't think you're gonna have any problems other than potentially the sound. That's one thing that a lot of these smaller screens, um, it's, it's less than stellar. So keep that in mind. Um, if you get it, it's not producing as much sound as you like. That's a common thing. It's not, uh, the TV's not broken or anything like that. It's just you're dealing with smaller speakers. So, um, like I said, external speakers are an option that can help boost that. And if you're in a small space, the, the internal speakers may do it for you. So uh, just something to keep in mind there. But overall, I think this is going to be a great option for you. It's going to be very durable. If you were to have any problems, you could give us a call. We'd help you out. But uh, I think this is going to be a great option for your RVs. It's uh, going to bounce down the road with you and hold up well to all that uh, shock and jarring and temperature fluctuation. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.